see the particular indicators indicate the trend of the market or the direction in which the market is moving typically the trend indicators or trend direction in which the market is moving that we can able to see through the oscillator or we can they uh, tend to move between the high and low values so now we are going to see what actually the upward trend is see <coughs> this is a pattern okay suppose this share price is going into a different way okay so this is the uh, i'll just draw for this pa pattern also <coughs> see this is the trend of this company it is going in this direction okay so in this direction when it is go up and go in a like ways we can see this is a in a upward trend the trend is upward okay now how we are going to draw this line okay how we are going to draw this line first we are going to see see suppose this share price is going just to it suppose this share price is going in this direction you can have a see this is a trend okay here we can say that if i am going to draw a trend this is a resistance okay and this is a support okay so i have to indicate that this is r okay resistance and i can say this is your support line see who is going to keep a resistance the seller because as i told you the when buyer started buying it the share price is going up again at a point the seller sells it so then it will go down so if you are going to see this train and this two line the resistance and support and if you are going to observe this support is going to be keep it in a proper trained way and with this we can say the share price is going to be upward trend because this upward trend always we need to an analyze it and even with this upward trend we can also do the volume profiling analysis so when we go for the technical analysis of volume profiling i am going to continue and will add it further things in this upward trend now you can see the downward trend okay so what downward trend is there so there is a resistance and support is there but this resistance line see what happen you can know that there is a resistance is there and there is a support is there if your level of the price does the resistance level and again it will go below to the another resistance level and again it will go to that level and again it will come back means there is no support they have so if there is no support of the price trend that we call as a trend of downward trend okay even we can also go for the volume analysis with this downward trend because see what happens suppose if i am saying that there is a trade of 1000 shares at this point of time because of this trade whether it is a buying trade or whether it is a selling so that buying and selling and on the basis of the volume analysis we can able to see that the price is behaving in a positive way or negative way suppose if the buyer is there after a buyer buying the shares you will see the you almost you always see the price will go up and then if the seller is selling the shares then the price will go down this pattern always to be you have to keep in your mind because it will be decided on your volume profile so what type of volume either buyer volume or the seller volume now the next part is your sideways trend so there is a two parallel line resistance and support this line will going to be control and it will be behave like in the parameter because it will go up to that level and it will come down again to that level so there will be no breakout in this case we are not going to see any breakout if you see it because this line and this line 
this two line has dropped and in between this two line the share is trading over a period of time if you are going to see at any point if it is cross it will be create a breakout because it will cross the resistant part now you have to wait suppose if it is go, uh, break this or breakout you can say this breakout is there and we are not going to be a buy, buying this share we are not going to trade this shares because we have to wait for a certain time we have to see whether the next move is going to be above this resistance level if this is above the resistance level then we'll again wait for 5 to 10 minutes if you go for the intraday trading purpose but if you go for the long term so you have to wait for 5 minutes and you can see or 5 to 15 minutes you have to see and if it is again go for a higher level after this resistance level then we'll get a confirmation yes this share is going to be breakout and this share price is going to be breakout scenario and once you see such a breakout and it is a golden chance for you to book a profit because after this breakout it will not going to be again to the below this resistance level but you can book a profit and uh, what will be your stop loss this resistance level will be your stop loss at this if you are going to see this at this point you have to put your stop loss if it is touch this point again it will come to this sideways trend so that's why you have to put your stop loss at this point this is your sideways trend Okay, so first we'll going to take uh, some question answer. So whatever the question as uh, the participants they have, and once we have done, then we'll take the breakout strategy. Then we'll also talk about the gap theory. Uh, see that there are three uh, participants has uh, raised their hand. So just unmute them. Yes, sir. yes, sir. just one. One by one. Yes, sir. Yes, Mamta, you have been unmuted. You can unmute yourself. Um, thanks. Uh, I just, uh, uh, the text on this slide of sideways trend is not very clear. So I don't, yes, uh, it I, says that... uh, sideways market resistance, if I'm not mistaken, on the above uh, uh, yes, line. The, yes, the, uh, that's, yeah, that's if you could just... Um, uh, that I'll explain you technical explain. part. See, I'll show you uh, it my own my demat account this pattern okay so that there, there it will be a more clear okay okay sure okay yes that so the up good. one is your market res, uh, sideways market resistance and the below one is your sideways market support okay mm -hmm. because whenever we take the screenshot of this from the demand sometimes it is not clear okay so that's why it is not showing clearly because okay. it is not possible to take uh, because these are the things that we can get it only the having a demand account yeah, if you could just yeah. explain this concept um, in see, a little resistance, more. See, uh, resistance means what? See, in the market, there is a buyer is there and the seller is there. Mm -hmm. And the buyer, when they started purchasing the shares of a company, that time the share price is going in an upward trade because they are creating a demand. Okay. Right. So when they create the demand, the share price is going, uh, you can see my the link as I have shown show you. This is going in an up, upward trend. And again, when it is reaches at this point, there are some seller. Suppose if you are a buyer at this point, at a support system. So if you reach this point, what do you have to do as you are an investor? What do you do? You will sell the shares. Mm -hmm. When you start selling the shares, the in market, the share will be supply will be more. The buyer is ready to purchase. And again, due to the supply is more, the share price is started falling again then it will come to this race point then again the shareholder they started purchasing it so once they started purchasing then it will go up at this level the shares sell by the seller then it will go down see uh, with one basic example if you are visited a vegetable market there is a shortage of tomatoes for example that time in the vegetable market the price of that tomato is going to be high due, due to the shortage yeah. 
yeah. if it is sudden supply will be there in the market the price will suddenly go down this logic is that support and resistance support is who the buyer buyer support the sellers at a certain less price or at a below price and the seller they resist at a higher price because they try to book the profit this is the natural habitat of the investors if you are getting profit you have to get book the profit and you will go out from the market that the rule is there is it clear to you yes yes okay. thank you okay. next yes sir uh yes samarpit agrawal yeah you know you can unmute yourself and just one thing you know parsons like we won't be able to you know unmute everyone so like you know some questions we will take it later on and you can also you know type in your questions directly to deepak sir so that you know you can read and answer it to everyone thank you yeah thank you i just wanted to ask ki we discussed for short selling so yes. uh, short selling can be done in uh, cash segment or like it can only be done in fno segment see uh it is more on cash segment actually because this uh, if you go for the fno option uh then in that case it will be create a difficulty for you okay so it is a high risk level is that so it is not suggested to that extent because see, uh due to this uh, what you have asked the question if you are going to analyze the date i just mention you the date and you can also have a demand account in that case go to the 21st january to uh, 2008 and see uh, what is the reason of the nifty crash because in the f and o the short selling was done so due to that nifty was totally crash okay. okay no just uh, i think it's not uh, allowed in cash segment if i'm not wrong yes in certain extent you can go for the cash segment if, if during the working a market hours okay during okay. the market hour, pre and post is not allowed yeah, so okay. i said Okay, from nine fifteen okay. to three fifteen, you can do it. There is a time nine fifteen to three fifteen, not three thirty. Okay, okay, thank you. Because you have taken it on a margin way. Okay, you have borrowed it because the broker has to settle their account in the last fifteen minutes. Correct, correct. So that time they will do anything with that. If you are going to have some uh, broker, you know, recently the SEBI has divided from last two years. Genius uh, Security was there. uh this is one of the securities they are actually not following the brokers because many uh, if you are going for a good brokers they do this practice but if you go have a jab broker who has not going to have a proper compliances at the end you are going to be a problem a uh, in problem you will be okay sir okay thank you okay yes murli dar you have been unmuted you can unmute yourself मुरली तो नहीं वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर दिस वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर सी आ मुरली दर हैज अ क्वेश्चन ओके सो ही हैज टेक्स्टेड इन द चैट बॉक्स व्हेन आरएसआई इज अबव 50 इज इट ओवर बॉट और ओवर सेल इज ऑब्वियसली ओवर सेल इफ इट इज दैट द यू कैन गो टू दिस स्लाइड यू कैन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन दिस पार्ट if it is over 50 see if the reading is above 70 it indicates an overbought market and if the trading is below 30 it is oversold